Hello my darlings and welcome to a brand new video. We have a bonus video this week, a bonus fashion video to celebrate the launch of my favourite season. Yesterday was the first day of spring and spring is undoubtedly my absolute favourite time of year. I feel as though I quite literally come out of hibernation. It is by far my favourite season for fashion and I have quite a few new pieces in my wardrobe that I wanted to share with you today. So darlings, as always, everything that I share with you in today's video will be linked in the description box down below, so do check that out if anything tickles your fancy. If you want to shop any of these pieces or find out more, everything will be linked down below. And without further ado, let's get started. So this time of year is when, to be honest, spring dresses are all I want to wear. I feel very put together. I feel as though a spring dress is an outfit in itself. I pretty much rotate between a few different accessories and let the dress do all the talking. These first few pieces are from a recent order that I placed on Netta Porter and I'm so thrilled to be working with Netta Porter on today's video. And I also picked up not one, but two new handbags, which I need you guys, your help in deciding which one to keep as my perfect spring and summer handbag. But let's get started with the dress. I feel like with my outfits at this time of year, I really look to nature and the garden and the outside for my inspiration. Groundbreaking, I know. But as usual in spring, I'm leaning towards florals. I'm leaning towards those natural kind of green tones. And I searched for cotton dresses on Netta Porter. No particular design designer in mind, no particular silhouette, and I was absolutely spoiled for choice. But this one really caught my eye. I love the kinds of dresses that I can wear both on more relaxed days at home, but also if I just switch up the accessories, I can wear them for a day of meetings in London, I can wear them for nice days out with friends, and this felt absolutely perfect. The material is that really nice lightweight cotton, very breathable. The silhouette is quite striking. You've got a gorgeous midi length and then this kind of fluted design, or I would call this a trumpet sleeve with this little fun tassel detail. I've always been a fan of dramatic sleeves. It's a design detail that I feel really elevates an outfit and yet is surprisingly easy to wear. The dress didn't actually come with a belt so I've added my Zimmerman raffia belt from a play suit and I really love how it just cinches in the silhouette giving it a slightly more feminine, um, feminine finish to the look. Now you could definitely pair this down with some flat sandals but I have dressed it up a little bit with my castagna wedges. Now throughout this video I might also share a few things which is still on my wish list. I'm going to pop a brand new pair of castagna wedges up on the screen here that I spotted on Netta Porter. I am very 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 tempted to add these to my collection but for now I'm just wearing my probably three or four year old cream castagna wedges which just go with so many different outfits. So let's talk handbags. The first potential new bag to add to my collection this spring summer is this one here from Chloe. Now I really liked the kind of relaxed bucket bag style of this bag and if you are a regular viewer of my channel you'll know that I just absolutely adore Chloe. The Chloe designs always tend to be very true to my personal style so even in many years to come I hope that I'll find myself reaching for the Chloe bags. So this is obviously a straw bag and I do find that straw and raffia are just the ultimate neutrals throughout spring and summer and then you've got leather finishes for the strap. You can wear this crossbody or you can of course hold it by the Chloe strap if you just want to hold it in a handheld way. So you can see that it's a drawstring and then fairly roomy inside. I probably wouldn't be able to fit my big SLR camera but my vlogging camera, my purse, my phone, chargers, a little bit of makeup, definitely enough room in here for that. And even though it is a designer bag, it's still that really nice kind of casual design making it perfect for day to night outfits. So this is new bag number one which I'm styling with this outfit. So let me know what you guys think to the Chloe bag down below. Well my darlings, this would not be a Josie spring summer fashion video without a white dress. I'm always on the lookout for new white dresses. They are probably the most worn product category in my entire wardrobe and upon browsing one of my favourite designers, Self Portrait on Netta Porter, I found this absolute beauty. So you can wear this of course without a belt. I will show you how that looks on the screen here. A really nice loose 
not form-fitting silhouettes, great for those more relaxed occasions, but I also wanted to show you how it looks with one of my favourite belts, also from Netta Porter. I got this, I think probably around this time last year. I now have the Loewe belt in the thin, the medium and the thickest. And honestly, I very rarely, aside from now that raffia one, very rarely wear any other belts. They're not too branded, it's quite a subtle logo, it's kind of one of those logos that if you know what it is, then you know, but it's not it's not too in your face. Um, kind of gone off the double G Gucci belt, I've not found myself wearing that for a long time. And also what I love about the Loewe belts is they're very transseasonal, if that makes sense. I feel that I can wear them all year round and it just always surprises and amazes me how they go with so many different outfits. So I'll leave my Loewe belts linked down below as well. This is my medium thickness one. But back to the dress, so many design details that I absolutely adore. You've got a little cotton slip underneath, a bow detail um, on the neckline, the most beautiful material, a really kind of perfect summer cotton with almost like a broidery anglaise style cutout pattern, floral embroidery on the sleeves and throughout the dress. Something else that's very true to my personal style is the length. It's a midi, it's a midi length, which I feel is so elegant and again, just appropriate for so many different events. And I thought the perfect accessory potentially for this new dress is the second new handbag that I have to unbox with you. I very much am a creature of habit. I'm trying to broaden my horizon when it comes to finding new designers, but there are a few designers that I go to time and time again. No, this isn't another Chloe bag. It's actually a designer that I most frequently go to when it comes to my footwear, and it is Valentino. Something else that I just love and have never regretted investing in is that straw bag style. I have got quite a few straw bags in my wardrobe, but I get a lot of use out of them. So, combining my two loves for Valentino and straw bags, isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness. I know that so many of you lost over my Prada straw basket bag, which is a very, very similar shape to this. I've never seen that one come back in stock lately. I think I got that one about four years ago, but this is kind of similar, very similar shape, very similar size, and just as classic and just as timeless in my opinion. You've got this Valentino V logo here, which you often see on their shoes and on some of their um, some of their dresses, and then the iconic studs here, which you see on their newer designs, such as the rock stud sandals. If I could change anything, I would make this um, a fabric. I think it's maybe a little bit a little bit OTT, having so much leather up here. And then inside, we have got the shoulder strap. To be honest, I think I would mostly wear this handbag as a kind of handheld. I just use these little top handles but this is the kind of bag that for me is perfect for so many different occasions throughout spring and summer. I really feel like these straw raffia style bags you can dress up and down. I think I've pretty much sold myself this bag, um, <laughs> but let me know your favorite between the Valentino and the Chloe in the comment section down below. Up next is this slightly more relaxed white dress. This is in the most beautiful, it's called a cheesecloth style fabric or just cheesecloth fabric. I'm not 100% sure why it's called that, but given my love of cheese, I love the name, I think it's fabulous. This is from a brand called Me and M. And previously I always really thought of them as a brand that I went to in autumn winter for their cashmeres, but they have really impressed me with their spring summer pieces this year. So I have a couple to share with you. No surprise why I absolutely adore this one. One, I've already declared my love for white dresses and this is just really easy to throw on. I absolutely love the big thick belt that comes with this. You can cinch it in around the waist. You could ditch the belt altogether, but I have tied it in a larger than life bow, which I, th which I think is a really pretty design detail. As you can see, these very fluted frilly sleeves, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then down at the bottom, hopefully you might be able to see, there's these little cutout details right at the bottom of the skirt, which is just a very simple and elegant design detail that I absolutely love. I know that if and when we have any summer holidays this year, this will most definitely be a dress that comes with me, but equally for heatwave days, it's just absolutely perfect. And yet the fabric is not super, super thin. So another one that's really great for this transitional time of year. Now I did place another Netta Porter order before my um, Charleston trip, which I did share in a vlog. And you guys might remember that I picked up this Loewe bag in, in fact, I don't even know if I showed it to you in a vlog, but you might've seen it um, in the Charleston videos. 
this is the spanner in the works in that I do already have a new straw bag this year. I absolutely adore this. I think it's sadly now out of stock, but I'd always recommend keeping an eye on the Loewe bags on Netta Porter. Is it too similar to the Valentino bag? Can I justify both? I think I love the Valentino so much that the answer is yes. Um, but I think the green tones in this are really nice to contrast against a white dress. So again, let me know your favorites. Can I justify two new straw bags this season? So I wanted to try styling the Valentino bag with a few other new dresses in my wardrobe, including this one from Lug von Sieger, which is the most beautiful brand, has the most gorgeous, quite dramatic dresses, which are perfect for spring and summer. I've shared quite a few of my favorites on my Instagram over the past couple of years. This is one of the newest to my collection. White dress, shock horror. <laughs> with this gorgeous blue embroidery detail. This dress makes me want to book a trip to Greece, take some pictures against the iconic blue sky and the white buildings. It's definitely giving me those kinds of vibes. Be perfect for an early spring kind of trip. This kind of uh, style of having a fairly big belt to cinch you in around the waist definitely seems to be a really big trend this year. I absolutely love it. It means that you can adjust it depending on however cinched in you want to be or loosen it if you want to be a little bit more comfortable and there just seem to be so many beautiful midi length dresses available right now so I'm finding it very hard to control myself. <laughs> this dress again has got pockets, perfect for posing um, and again it looks beautiful with my castagna wedges. There's quite a lot of fabric here which again in my opinion just makes it perfect for this transitional time when maybe the temperatures are still a little bit more mild but we're really excited to start wearing those more spring fashion pieces. Here's my second dress from Luke Von Sieger, another one which is making me absolutely desperate to book myself a spring or summer escape to the sunshine. This one I would say is a little bit more formal in its silhouette, a little bit more form-fitting, but then it does have the slightly more relaxed vibe with the bows on the shoulders, the embroidery detail, and I love the neckline that goes straight across. I definitely think this is my favorite shape of neckline. There's something very current. <laughs> about this kind of straight across neckline which I really really love. Again that midi length pairs beautifully with the castagna wedges and the straw raffia accessories and I absolutely love this embroidery detail which is all over the whole dress. Try and show you up close here you can see it's just this beautiful kind of floral stitching all over the bodice all over the skirt and then it's almost that kind of fishtail silhouette down at the bottom with this little kick out little frill detail that just adds that perfect feminine finishing touch so these final two dresses are from free people which is a brand that's still fairly new on my radar i know i'm very late to the party i wanted to add some dresses to my wardrobe which are just really easy to throw on great for if we do have any spring heat waves apparently we are due one so i'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed these are the kind of dresses that they're just super comfortable super easy to wear and once again perfect for those days both in and out of the house if i'm dashing about running some errands or literally just in the kitchen, in the garden, working from home, they're nice and light, they don't hug me too tight in any places, making them super comfortable and it's just, you know, it's a nice alternative to sticking on leggings and a t-shirt instead, just a nice easy to wear dress. So that is how I feel about these two, neutral colours, very elegant, just add some gorgeous jewellery and by the way, my 20% discount code for Monica Vinita is still active, so I'll leave that link down below. Great Mother's Day gift idea. A nice open neckline, I probably should have added some pretty necklaces. You could definitely cinch this in a little bit more around the waist. And finally, my darlings, lastly, but absolutely not least, this is probably the most comfortable dress of all of them. It has got that it's got that silhouette and so many of those design details that I absolutely love, kind of similar in its vibe to the Josie dress, which I literally wore all last year. But similarly, we've got that smocking detail on the bodice, this big square neckline, fairly voluminous sleeves, and then just a beautiful, very relaxed, floaty skirt. I absolutely love this kind of rusty color, very natural, very easy to wear, very easy to style. And I have completed the look with these, with the Chloe, bucket bag. I really do have a very tough decision to make when it comes to the bags, so darlings, please let me know down below which bag you think I should keep. Do I stay true to what I know and love and go for the Chloe? 
my head says Chloe, but my heart is saying Valentino. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think down below. And as I mentioned, everything will be linked down in the description box. So do check that out if you'd like to find out any more about these pieces. But darlings, that's all from me for today. So thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye. Say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance?